dealing with one exponent can be easy, but uh, dealing with multiple exponents and multiple operations can be really challenging. That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of the upcoming video lessons, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. And like I said sa video kanina, exponents can be tricky, pero manageable kung pa isa, -isa lang. Pero paano kung may exponent ka na i-raise mo pa to another power? Kung may exponent na i-multiply mo to another exponent? There are certain laws on exponents or rules of exponents na madalas na lumalabas sa mga exams. And dahil ni-request nyo na gumawa ako ng video on this, that's what we're going to talk about na yung video na ito. Now, itong video na ito can be helpful hindi lang sa civil service exams, sa UCAT, LAE, PhilSAT, NAPLCOM, all of those mga exams na yan, pati sa job application exams, posibleng lumabas itong tanong na ito. So, in order for me to explain better, I'm going to switch over to my PC. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so ito yung rundown natin on the laws or rules of exponents. We're just going to break down each of these situations and hopefully magamit ninyo siya sa inyong exam, okay? So, let's start with this one first, okay? So, we have x to the 8th power raised siya doon sa b. Okay, so you have this first exponent right here. This meron siyang pangalawang exponent sa labas. Now, what you do here is basically, ang pwede mong gawin para shortcut, hindi mo na kailangan isa-isahin, is you just take on yung base number, which is x, tapos multiply mo lang yung dalawang exponent. a times b lang siya. So, taking this example, so x squared, tapos raised siya to 5, instead of, alam nyo, imano-mano nyo pa siya, ang gagawin mo na lang would be, x, and then you have, i-raise mo lang siya sa 2 times 5, or x raised to 10. Okay. Now, bakit ganon? Kasi ang idea is, basically, i-multiply mo kasi yung x squared 5 times. So, x squared, x squared, x squared, hanggang lima yan. Mamano-mano natin para lang makita ninyo. So, now that you have 5 of these, i-multiply mo siya sa isa't isa, at uh, pag nag-multiply tayo, in-add lang natin yan. Ang lalabas pa rin dyan is x raised to 10. Kaya lang this one, knowing na ganyan yung rule or ganyan yung law, it's just going to be faster. Now, it's the same thing if you have numbers. Like for example, ito, 2 raised to 3, tapos yun ay raised to 2. Instead of iisa-isahin mo siya, ang gagawin mo na lang would be 2 raised to 3 times 2 or 2 raised to 6. And you have the answer right away. Okay? So, again, kapag siya ay nakaparentheses, multiply yung dalawang exponents. Okay? Now, ito yung second rule. So, itong x, y, yung quantity na yan, naka-exponent siya sa a. So, ang gagawin mo na lang is i-distribute mo siya sa isa, sa isa sa kanila. So, it will be x to a and then y raised to a. Okay? So, for example, we have this, the quantity x, y raised to 5. Instead of iulit-ulitin mo na lang siya, ang gagawin mo na lang would be ilalagay mo yung 5 at 5 doon. So, ang kalalabasan ay x raised to 5 and y raised to 5. Okay? And again, same thing for numbers. So, for example, you have 2a, yung quantity 2a squared. So, ang gagawin lang natin is, again, i-distribute natin yung 2 doon at dito. So, now you have 2 raised to 2 and a raised to 2. Kaya lang yung 2 raised to 2, pwede pa natin siya expand So, that can be 2 times 2 lang yan, which is 4. So, we have 4a squared. Yun yung sagot. Okay? So, again, kapag uh, pareho sila, nasa loob ng parenthesis, kahit mag-iba sila, i-distribute mo lang yung exponent sa kanila. Number 3, ito yung kapag yung quantity naman ay fraction, i-distribute mo ngayon yung exponent, again, sa pareho sa kanila, Bibigyan mo siya sa taas at dun din sa baba. Kaya ang magiging sagot is x raised to a over y raised to a. So, example na ito, gagawin natin, nagyan, i-distribute natin siya doon. So, ang magiging kalabasan ay a raised to 4 over b raised to 4. Kung numbers naman ang pinag-uusapan, same thing, i-distribute natin siya. So, ang lalabas ay 2 raised to 2 over 3 raised to 2 or 2 times 2 na lang which is 4. And then 3 times 3, which is 9. Yun yung magiging sagot. 
Okay? Yung pang-apat na rule is like this. Kapag nag-multiply ka naman na pareho ang base number, if you see, pareho silang x, kahit magkaiba yung exponent, okay lang. Ang gagawin mo lang is i-add mo yung dalawang exponent at ikakopy mo yung base number. So, for example, we have x squared times x to the fifth. Ang gagawin mo na lang sa kanya is you take yung parehong base number or base na factor, x, and then yung exponents niya, i-add mo lang siya 2 plus 5. So, ang kalalabasan ay x raised to 7. Now, this is not to be confused dun sa unang-una natin ginawa, which is yung nakaparenthesis yung, yung dalawang exponent. Kasi kung ang nakalagay ay x raised to 2, tapos ito ay raise natin sa 5, gaya na ginawa natin kanina. Kung magkahiwalay sila, ang magiging sagot ay imumultiply mo ito dito, x raised to 10. So again, this will only work if you're multiplying two things, pareho ang base number, kahit magkaiba ang exponent. Okay? Now, let's take an actual number like 2. For example, we have 2 raised to 3 and then 2 raised to 2. Minumultiply mo sila, ang gagawin mo na lang is 2 raised to, and then yung exponent, i-add natin siya, 3 plus 2 or 2 raised to 5. Okay? Number 5, you have another fraction. Pero basically, ibig sabihin nito is dividing. If you are going to divide two exponents, okay, na pareho ang base number, so ito pareho silang x, ang gagawin mo na lang is you copy that, so x, and then isusubtract mo yung nasa ilalim from yung nasa taas, so a minus b. So, for example, dito, we have x raised to 5 and x raised to 3. Dinidivide mo siya. Again, copy the base number, which is x. And then, gagawin lang natin 5 minus 3. So, ang kalalabasan ay x raised to 2 or x squared. Kung numbers siya, same thing. Kukunin lang natin yung pinaka-pinagkapareho na yan. So, that is 4. And then, we have 6 minus 3. Kasi yun yung nasa taas. So, 6 minus 3. And then, Ang sagot niya yun, magiging 4 raised to 3 or 4 cubed. Okay? Or basically, 4 times 4 times 4. Alright, now it's time for your quick quiz dito sa ating lesson na ito. So, I hope that you remember the rules, took notes, and gagamitin natin yan lahat dito. You have three questions. I'll give you time at the end of yung ating quiz. I'm going to discuss kung yung tamang sagot at kung paano siya makuha. Okay? So, if you're ready with your pen and paper, your timer starts. Now.
All right, let's see how you did. Unahin natin yung una. We have 3L and then yung quantity na yun raised to 2. So, anong gagawin natin dito? Sabi natin, i-distribute lang natin yung 2 sa kanilang dalawa. So, now you're going to have 3 raised to 2 and then L raised to 2. So, dahil ito ay pwede pa natin isolve, that would be 3 times 3 which is equal to 9. Ang tamang sagot ay 9L squared. Okay? I hope you got that right. This is actually very simple. Your number 2 is a little bit more complicated. May combination na tayo ng mga rules na gagamitin natin here. Sabi natin kapag nasa loob yung exponent at mayroong exponent sa labas niya, ang gagawin natin is we're just going to copy yung base number which is Q. Okay? And then yung 3 at 3, imumultiply natin sila. So 3 times 3. Or, ang mag mangyari dyan would be Q raised to 9. So, that would be, again, kinakopya ko lang yung nakalagay doon, Q raised to 6, and then you have Q raised to 6 right here. Now, kapag nagdi-divide naman tayo like this, fraction form siya, ang gagawin natin is kukunin natin yung Q, and then, ang gagawin natin is isusubtract natin yung nasa ilalim na exponent from yung nasa ibabaw. So, that would be Q raised to 9 minus 6. Ang 9 minus 6 is equal to 3. So, ang answer natin is Q raised to 3. Okay? So, I hope tama kayo dyan. Alright? So, kinocombine lang natin yung mga pinag-aralan na natin. Number 3, this is, sabi na natin, the toughest of the bunch. Uh, Iisa-isahin natin siya. So, first, sabi natin kapag meron dyan, i-distribute natin siya sa both. So, sa loob ng parentheses, ang magiging kalabasan niya ay Q. Okay? Raised to 3. And then, we have A now raised to 3. So, all over, Q raised to 2. A raised to 4. Now, sabi natin, kapag merong mga common na mga factors, pwede mo siyang isubtract sa isa't isa. So, dalawa yung Q, dalawa yung A. So, ang gagawin lang natin dyan, babawasan na natin sila sa so, kung ano meron sila. Dito po, papasok yung cancellation kung familiar kayo doon. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Kung ito ay 3, ito ay 2, gagawin ko na lang na 3 minus 2, so, mawawala ito, mabubura siya. May iiwan sa taas would be just Q raised to 1. Dito naman sa side na to, we have 3 minus 4. So, may iiwan yung 1 dito sa ilalim. Makakancel yung tatlong A dito. May iiwan yung isa dito. May iiwan yung A raised to 1 there. So, ang magigikinalabasan lang nila is Q over A. Okay? Tapos, yung entire thing na yan, raised to 2 pa rin siya. So, ang sabi natin kapag ganyan, i-distribute lang natin yung 2 sa parehong places, sa taas at sa baba, sa numerator at denominator. So, ang magiging kalabasan is Q squared over A squared. Okay? So, yan yung magiging sagot natin. Alright? So, I hope you got that right. Ingat-ingat na lang doon sa mga pag-cancel-cancel. Ingat-ingat doon sa i-add ba yan, i-subtract or i-multiply. And the more you do it, the faster you'll get actually. So, uh, I hope you got these right. If you didn't, that's okay. I will be posting more questions on this on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet at Like Amaravilla, do follow me for those quick questions. It's a f feature sa Instagram. I post questions sa story and then you can participate and hopefully tama kayo pag nagpost ako ng question about this. Alright? Alright! I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Lalo na kung mag-exam din sila para mas marami tayong matulungan. And if you want to get one of the reviewers that I made, or itong shirt na ito, the links will be below. I hope that you do support the team. Those people who buy the reviewers, buy the shirts, you help me make free videos for everyone here na nanonood. So thank you sa inyong lahat sa inyong support for that. And if you want to reach out to me directly, maybe request a video or find out more information sa mga online review program, live review events, you can go to my Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash teamlaika for more information. And again, don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon para hindi niyo miss yung mga susunod pang mga lessons. Thank you guys for watching. As we always say dito sa team, never stop learning. Aja, aja, kaya niyan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.